And the Salvation Army is in the home stretch of its Red Kettle fundraising drive. They are looking for more bell ringers. And as I found out, some of their newcomers are paying things forward, forward like Julie Weibel. Hi, girls. How are you today? This is Julie's territory outside a grocery store on the Belt Highway, and she brings the ambiance. It, it helps other people, and it helps me. It helps me want to ring the bell more, and I got two of them, so. <laughs> of course, she's not raising money just to raise money. It's all for a good cause, a local cause. To help people with housing, rent, utilities, food, clothing, so all those things, basic necessities that they need for life. Um, 93 cents of every dollar stays here in St. Joe to help those that are coming in our door. 93 cents out of every dollar is pretty significant as far as donations go. It's one of the best rates you can find coming back to the local level. This oh. us his last penny. Yes. Julie volunteers with the Salvation Army to pay things forward. They're helping my daughter out. She lives down at the Salvation Army. Her and her three kids do at the Booth Center. Why well, I figured I'd help them, they're helping my family, and I'll help their family. The month of December is the home stretch for the Salvation Army, and they need more bell ringers. If you can help out, like Julie, you can contact the Salvation Army and could even get paid $10.30 per hour to do it. Anybody can do it, no matter what the age is. I mean, any age. I mean, as long as they want to do it and they're willing to help. Reporting for News Press Now, I'm Ryan Hennessy.